Hi, welcome to RoboJax. In this video, we are going to see how we can use this 150 watt constant current electronic load. This is sold on Amazon, on eBay, and AliExpress between 30 to 100 dollars. And uh, I've tested this. So I'm going to show you how you can test this, how we can connect it, and how we can use it. This has a very thick and uh, huge. Uh, heatsink and also this is the CPU heatsink with a big fan and a big uh, heatsink. Um, the belt is very solid, unbelievable. When I received it I was thinking it, uh, it must be wrong package or something but this is the one. Now let's uh, have a look here. We have uh, on this side we have a 12 volt uh, connector so you can connect it for the actual functionality of this we need just 12 volts so you it will be connected here and then we have uh, terminal here like that I'll explain that next which is very important and here we have also uh, four buttons they're all labeled in Chinese so this is up this is down this is mode and this is OK or enter other than that, there is just one potentiometer. Do not change or do any anything here. And it has this um, standoff connector also, like uh, computer type, motherboard type connector. So if you are attaching this to something. So now let's have a look at the connector here. We have A plus, A minus, V minus, V plus. So A is ampere, V is for voltage, voltage minus, I put it. So what it means is that when you connect the cable, this is a power supply or a battery that you have, you want to test. So you will connect the main wire that can handle up to 10 ampere to this A. And then this is the negative. So the current will go and to the load and then come back. And also you will need to connect a small tiny wire for the V for the positive and for the negative. So this, I created this diagram so many people on the internet will need and use it. But if if this cable is thick enough, then if this is thick enough, just connect this here so the voltage will come to this point for the current and for the voltage here. And that's for the negative, so you can do this. This is what I have done here because I believe that the cable that I'm using is strong enough. So here I've done the same thing here from plus I've just connected this with some wire here and also from here the same wire that I had I just put it here so that will work for me. So now I am connecting the power supply here. Welcome to use. So this is the default value that I have entered into microcontroller. This 14 AWG and it will work for this, uh, the purpose of this application. So let me zoom in so you can see it even more better. I mentioned this is up and down, this is mode and this is a, uh, enter or select. On the screen this will show the voltage and this is the current as you can see. And here we can see four values. So it shows temperature, it shows the amount of power of watt dissipated and the amount of current it has drawn. And this is the amount of time that uh, the device has run. So this is the place that you will uh, change the value or set. Let's say you want to set this for 5 amp and uh, 3 volt, 3.3 volts. So now this is the cursor is here. So I have to move the cursor back. So to move the cursor, use this. The cursor now moves and then make this zero and then move it here with this up and down so I'm going up that's 5 amp and if I want to make 5 point something also you can come here and change these values with up and down and then once you press this again the cursor moves back to I this is where you can change the voltage so that's the voltage and then move the cursor here I want to make it 3.3 volts, so reduce this, make it zero, 
move here and then go up 3 and then 3.3 volts and that's it so once you set this this means off then you press this and it will start uh, working now because the load is the the power or the battery is not connected when I connect it it goes on and then OV okay overload and uh, it just shuts off the device can handle up to 10 amp and the voltage can be up to 60 volts but the mm, total power dissipated by this load cannot exceed 150 watt meaning voltage time current will give you the power so if you have 10 ampere and also if you have 60 volt it will be 600 watt because 10 times 60 is 600 watt this cannot be done so you have to adjust those two parameters to get 150 maximum supply which is 12 volts and and if I dissipate 10 amp here, it will be 10 times 12, 120 watts. So this is within the range. So let me set this. First, change the voltage. So I'm selecting it and go up one, and then go here, 12 volts. Now, again, move the cursor to I, to V, so make it I either up or down that's I move it here and I want to make it 10 amp so as soon as you go one that's 10 everything will be reset to zero so it's 10 amp so let me go and see the voltage again so now it's in voltage just connected let me connect it to the power supply so this is the voltage of power supply and that will be the current that it draws so and if i connect this now you will see the voltage so that it shows 12.6 volts so now let me just turn it on so now it, it started working This was 12.6 volts, remember? It drops to 12.3 and th that is due to the wire connection that I have or maybe some quality of my uh, power supply. If this voltage drops below 12 volts, it will shut off, meaning that this voltage must be lower than the voltage that you are connecting the voltage that you are setting so let me give you an example so now it's working i'm touching it it's a little heat is coming i know from here so you can see 73 degrees that's fine so now uh, let me just shut it off just press this so now it's turned off now let me put this you see it is 12.6 let me put it at uh, 12.5 so I'm going here 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 so if you set this 12.5 now if I connect it if the voltage drops below this it will shut off you see and now the fan is still running because it's hot So once the temperature reaches at 40 degrees below 40, the fan will shut off, 37 degrees. So let me connect it, 12.4 and it shut off, it shows OV. So you cannot do it, so let me do it again. It connects and disconnects. Because it was 3.4, so it, this must be lower. So let me just lower it. So now it's 40, 39 also will shut it off. So 30 is good now 12.30 and that's 12.3 and that's 12.39 so it's above this and that's working so you see the temperature is increasing it shows 123 watt so this multiplied by this will give you the power
this is a very good thing to do for the fan and also to isolate it from any other metallic surface that you're installing it so this will be good the quality of capacitors are good this is nice device by the way So let me ch uh, check the current using my multimeter because I'm connecting it. I put so many wires and all these wires are creating some voltage drop. So I have to reduce the voltage. So 12 volts and then make sure that 11.48. So even this one will not work. So let me. 11 point so 11 point 2 so this shows 4.92 and that is 5 amp so there is some discrepancy 490 492 but the current should be the same so we can see some difference here and I believe this is more trusted than that device while it's running so let me go change the current so from here now let's change the current and see it six so it seems this is off by the same value eight amp i'm increasing it so nine amp now Almost the same, so it's off with a fixed amount. Let's go 6, I want to see it. 5, 4.92, 4, 3.92. So this is the exact amount that it is off. 2 ampere, that's 92 now, it will have one more digit. And I will rotate it and I will show you here what happens. Some people have put some video stating that this is fake or not fake. Come on guys, this is so simple. It has just simple chip and simple MOSFET that is built. Anybody can see this and just build it. So there is no fake or, or not fake because the functionality is very simple. It's not like sophisticated, some kind of... Um, hard thing to do anybody can just look at this and see it and also you can program any microcontroller to just measure the voltage the the thing is that i would not spend my time to design this if i can get this for 30 dollars so there is no such thing as fake or original anything that you can see if it looks like this it will work Definitely and when you buy it there is a purchase protection so you can get your money So don't worry about checking with a fake or unfake Make sure when when you load is not connected to the load and your power is connected wait for the temperature to drop be below 40 So when the fan is off then disconnect because if there is too much heat it might damage the MOSFET That's it, so this was how we could use and test this 150 watt constant current electronic load. Thank you for watching, please thumb up the video, please share it and subscribe to get updates of my upcoming videos. Take care.